there's just so much energy all around this conference. It's incredible to see how much technology has uh, evolved in just one year. When we look at AI, that is really, I think, the one thing that we're seeing in every single uh, last layer of technology here. We need to grab it with both hands. We need to learn about it. We need to understand it. And we need to make sure that we are part of the future journey where AI is a part of all of our lives, our work, and what we are doing with our families. Many individuals don't know where to start when it comes to generative AI. And the best answer is to just roll up your sleeves and start using it. And for organizations, where they should really begin is start with purpose. What couldn't you do before that you can do now that you have AI as a tool? That really is the critical starting place, and that's what's gonna to lead to the most return on investment with any AI strategy. We went through a quite a number of uh, exhibitions and uh, the optical networks, data storage, data centers uh, was totally amazing and impressive. And those use cases are very much towards to industrial driven and it's very much towards to the autonomous uh, uh, driven and most of the autonomous cars that is a new latest trend will able to use with this 5.5G. And what means 5.5G means it's very much towards to the 5G advanced by the 3GPP, which is known as a release 18. And uh, I believe that uh, Huawei is ready to commercialize with this 5.5G technology. Today we're signing an MOU together with EIT Digital because we both believe that working together with the private, public, as well as these research and educational community together, we can build a robust digital economy with sustainability and green technologies. I believe Huawei and EIT Digital can definitely work together, both in the cybersecurity as well as the digital skills for the whole EU talent. According to the target, that till 2030, EU 17%, 75% of the European companies will use will be using 5G, big data, cloud computing to support their business, increasing their efficiency, reducing their carbon emissions, do their business in a smarter way. So here in uh, Huawei start, we see 5G and 5.5 uh, implementations. Uh, as which the, I am focusing on the uh, AI part because uh, AI is integrating to everything uh, in every field. Now, um, also my uh, academic research includes uh, health and AI, uh, AI solutions on some health issues. We uh, are driving sustainable mobility in the public, private and academic ecosystem in Europe. And well, I am very happy to be here today in the Mobile World Congress. Um, I just came out of a panel talking about the role of women talent uh, in technology and, and I think that's something that I'm seeing and I want to see more in Mobile World Congress is more female entrepreneurs. In the end, if we want solutions for everyone, everyone should be involved in creating those solutions and deploying them. Year, we host our second Huawei Global Talent Summit at MWC. Why we do that? Because we think the talent development is the most important thing in this digital age. Now we are in a world that the technologies such as the 5G, 5.5G, AI, cloud computing are changing our world, changing the industry, and changing our life in every second. So there's a lot of things to adapt and learning and the foundation is talent so the talent including the young agents young generation and also the adult need to upgrade their skills so we think Huawei invests a lot on the talent cultivation we have our flagship talent program named seeds for the future and so far after 15 years efforts we already 
benefit 2.83 million people in over 150 countries. We also think gender equity is also very important in this industry because there are, we need more women engineers into ICT industry and to develop more sustainable applications for the industries and for the lives. So we generate women in tech initiative and we provide trainings, scholarships to both the women entrepreneurships and also the women developers and also have scholarships for women students in STEM. So we want to encourage more girls to join us to change the world.